hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac pm uh, so in today's video we will solve this problem which is based on the bending stresses and shear stresses in the beams so let's read the question consider a rectangular section beam this, re this beam is a rectangular section with width b and f d which is carrying a udl uniformly distributed load of intensity w per meter and length span is l if the permissible bending stress and shear stresses are sigma and tau respectively then find depth to spawn ratio so we have to find d by l now for this we have uh, we have given uh, sigma and tau so first of all we have to find the maximum shear force across this beam and maximum shear uh, bending moment across this beam so let's draw the bending moment and shear moment diagram bending moment and shear force diagram so this is suppose this reaction is r1 this is r2 and point is a then this is b and mid span is c then summation of all the vertical forces uh, is equal to 0 so f r1 plus r2 is equal to this w into l w per unit length so w into l is total load so r1 plus r2 is w l this is equation number one and if we take movement across this point b then sum of all the moment moments across point b will be zero so r1 into l plus minus this w into l total load is w into l and effective center of uh, mass of this load is at midpoint c so it is distance is l by 2 so r1 into l is equal to w l square by 2 so r1 is w l by 2 so similar uh, if we put this value of r1 in this equation number 1 then we will get r2 is equal to w l by 2 so this is w l by 2 and this is also w l by 2 so if we will draw the shear force diagram then this will be w l by 2 then from here suppose we consider section x x at f distance then at section xx shear force will be w l by 2 minus w l by 2 plus this will be w into x w into x is load so if we have to consider uh, bending weight at this point then here x will become l by 2 because this is mid span so this is l by 2 so we will put x is equal to l by 2 so shear force at mid span will be w l by 2 minus w l by 2 plus w into this is l by 2 x is l by 2 so it will become 0 so we can see that and we can see that this is equation of a line so it is inclined line so here it will be 0 again we can see that shear force at this point is w l by 2 so this is a w l by 2 so this is the shear force diagram now you can see that shear force maximum we get is w l by 2 this is maximum shear stress across this beam now if we have to draw this bending moment diagram then we will calculate bending movement at this point uh, it will be r b into 0 so bending moment will be 0 here and from this side if we consider at a then will be it will be r a into 0 so bending moment at these two points will be 0 and if we have to calculate bending moment at distance x then we will find bending moment is equal to 
see this r2 which is wl by 2 into x this is minus sorry this will be plus because this is bending by counterclockwise so this is plus minus this one will be w into x is load and its distance from this point will be x by 2 so it will become wl by 2x minus wx square by 2 so if we have to calculate at mid span then here x will become l by 2 this distance l by 2 x is equal to l by 2 so we will put x is equal to l by 2 here so we, it will become w l by 2 into l by 2 minus w into l square by 4 yeah, this, this is 2 so it will become w l square by 4 minus w l square by 8 so it will become w l square by 8 so bending moment will be like this this is equation of parabola so it is w l square by 8 this is maximum bending moment across this wave now as we have got these two value maximum shear forces and maximum bending moment then we know that m upon i is equal to sigma upon y this is bending equation so we know that m m is w l square by 8 divided by i i will be for this rectangular section it will be bd q by 12 so it is bd q by 12 is equal to sigma already given sigma is constant sigma and y is d by 2 ok so we will put these values w l square by 8 into 12 upon bdq is equal to sigma into 2 by d so we will cut from the 4 divide by 4 this is 2 this is 3 so it will become 3 3 w l square divided by 2 bdq is equal to sigma 2 sigma upon d so this d will cancel 1 d so it will be 3 w l square upon 2 b d square is equal to 2 sigma so we have this equation 3 w l square upon 2 b d square is equal to 2 sigma now if we see this beam then what will be the shear stress shear stress is tau is equal to force upon area so the force maximum shear force across this beam we have already calculated which is w l by 2 so w l by 2 and area of this cross section is b into d so it is b into d so this is shear force average shear force so what will be maximum shear force maximum shear force across a uh, rectangular cross section is 3 by 2 average shear force so it will be 3 by 2 if you want to know how this comes then you can see our video on shear stress distribution across these sections so it will be 3 by 2 into w l by 2 b d so it will become 3 by 4 w l upon b d this is tau maximum so w l upon b d we can see from here is 4 upon 3 tau from this equation if you see this then here we can take w l upon b d common and w l upon b d and this is 3 by 2 then remaining will be w l by d is equal to 2 sigma so we will put value of w l by b d here so 3 by 2 into 4 by 3 tau into l by d is equal to 2 sigma so 3 will be cancelled with 3 2 2 the 4 so 2 tau is equal into l by d 
is equal to 2 sigma this 2 will cancel this 2 so L by D will become sigma upon tau so this is our answer we had to find length upon uh, what we have to find let's see we had to find depth to span ratio okay so this is length to uh, span to depth so we have to find D by L so it will become tau by sigma so this is our answer i hope you understood how to calculate this if you like this video then please subscribe our channel thanks for watching